Hello, I'm Damian. I'm Joshua. My name is James. I'm Gucci. My name is Timothy. I'm Polon. I'm Felix. My team decided to build something around the media sector because we knew that was where our strengths lie and we came together because we have like mind and interests. The original idea we had was to create an application that would help people manage their time and their emotional states. We found out that when people go to a streaming platform, they get too many content thrown at them at the same time, so they are indecisive of what to watch. Initially, the idea was to create a mood board, right, that helps users to be able to pick content faster, but that idea was vague. So, after much deliberations and research, we decided to come up with an extension we now know as Vine. We shared the task based on research and where we knew we were going to learn the most. The process was difficult because we had just two weeks. A Chrome extension is something that we haven't ever done before. So there were a lot of major setbacks. There were a lot of frustrated nights, sleepless nights, and a whole lot of work to deal and tackle it. I worked on the web page using JavaScript and React. And I also worked on the back end, the web back end using Java and Spring Boot. I worked on the extension back end using JavaScript and man and Chrome manifest APIs. And I worked on the web back end using Java and Java Spring Boot. Um, I work on the extension backend using Chrome Management API and the web backend using Java and Spring Boot and the web frontend using React.js. I worked on the extension backend. I used um, JavaScript and Chrome Management APIs. BIM is an extension that empowers users to gain control of their browsing experience. Generally, BIM improves productivity as well as restricts harmful and distracting websites. So what we've done is basically been an extension that employees, parents, students and children can use. So during our industrial design, as we're doing research, we did a comparative analysis of the education system of other countries and then I noticed that the literacy level in Nigeria was low and I made the mental note that that would be what we would do for Capstone Project. The original plan um, about the game was to come up with something like a puzzle or, or the Scrabble kind of game and we're thinking of using Java or React initially since that was what we're used to. My teammate Mr. Sugo as a parent noticed that some of the educative games were not fun enough for kids to play and learn so that's why we came up with World Heroes which is an educative game whereby kids learn how to play. For our project, it was a new start for everyone on the team. So we went on research and from there, we divided ourselves to different areas to specialize and work on, especially since we had a limited time to deliver. So the process, initially, since we don't know, we are not familiar with this framework, with this language, we had to learn, like watch videos, take all the materials we had for two weeks and after two weeks we were able to come up with pieces of it and the, one of the biggest challenges we had in the building was the fact that we don't have um, game developers in the building so all the bugs we had then we had to fix by ourselves and also along the line we had challenges of where we had our code got wiped off and all those things were just things we had to face being a new um, developer in the game industry but that's what made us software engineers anyways myself and my teammates contributed in both the front-end and the back-end using Unity and C-Sharp. When we released the prototype, we learned that kids understood the words better, they found new means to words and they were able to pronounce the words. Even we as developers were able to learn new words from World Heroes. So as a parent, World Heroes, you wouldn't need to be bothered that your child is addicted to a game. You're sure that as he's playing, he's also learning. For children, you get to play a fun game while learning. 